Hello everyone, I am the Gaming Hyena. I'm coming back to you with a uh, brand new video. Uh, I recently got a comment on one of my uh, Jurassic World Evolution mods about, um, I forgot who it was, uh, he said that he had trouble downloading the sounds and I believe it was either the sounds or dinosaurs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a basic step-by-step -step what to do with sounds and even dinosaurs if you want to mod out your game. Now, keep in mind, you know, this is going to be kind of a step-by-step -step thing. Um, what he had said he did, he downloaded it from Torrent, the game from Torrent. I downloaded it from Steam. I think that's probably his problem. If not, you can correct me on that, but I'm going to show how the most effective way you can. So if you are watching, I apologize, I forgot what your name was, but if you are watching, here's how we do it. So, you're going to go, you already downloaded, I already have the old classic ones downloaded, so I have the Jurassic Park T-Rex overhaul and the film canon Tyrannosaurus sounds, which I already have in the game, but I will show you in, uh, anyway. So what we're going to do, you, you download them from Nexus Mods, they'll be in a zip file, so we're going to open the zip file. Oh, okay, here we go. <clears throat> yeah. Let me drag this over just a little bit. Okay. So now, there is a readme file, and it'll say, open the program Steam, Steam Apps Common. That's, that's probably where your problem is. So, in order to do this, you're going to go to your documents. Here. Uh, you go to uh, my computer. Or, or or Windows, whatever. You know, program files. Uh, dot or times eighty six. It can be different depending on which one you use, but I it's it should say times eighty six. Scroll down to Steam. Go down to Steam apps. Go to Common. Look for Jurassic World Evolution. Here. And you're going to open up your Win64. This is where the main directory file will be. Your OBL data. Now, we're going to put this right here. You click on the OBL data in the zip file. Now you see that we have the contents. The contents would be your your main game and your, you know, and you have all these DLCs. So we're going to go to content zero. Localized. This will give you the, I think, all the, yeah. The, so this will give you all the, for the Jurassic Park T-Rex overhaul, um, this will just give you <clears throat> um, all the information or the, the bios for everything from English all the way to traditional Chinese. So open up. So let's just say you open up English. Open up English. You're going to both of these in the United Kingdom. Look at OB file. Now, I'm not going to actually do it, but click and drag from here. Well, I'll do it right there. And you want to replace that, but I'm not going to do that right now. So, you, so you're, you're going to replace that. Uh, replace every single one of these if you're going for the T-Rex overhaul for Jurassic Park. Now, since knowing this is not the base game, content PDLC6 is going to be the return to Jurassic Park. So you're going to go back down here. You're going to click on dinosaurs in this one. Go in the zip file. Say Tyrannosaurus 93. Open up Tyrannosaurus 93. Highlight both of these. Then you're going to drag them both, and it will replace the files. Now, keep in mind, always make sure to back up your uh, your files because 
you will not get these files back if you do not back up the files. Say you have the base game T-Rex, which would be in your content zero. Here, let's see, let's go back here. Content zero, dinosaurs. Uh, you go down to Tyrannosaurus, all right? If you haven't already modded your, your Tyrannosaurus out of the base game in content zero, it's it's the original Rexy that we all know from, from Jurassic World and Jurassic Park, well, which is probably, um, you know, just her in an older fashion. But let's say you wanted to replace Rexy with a new model of uh, of Rexy. Your base game Rex will be replaced forever if you don't back up your files. And I normally don't back up these dinosaur files because I really don't care. I I I could care less really. But there is a mod on Nexus uh, mods I have seen that will an OVL data. Someone created back to the original game state of all the DLCs and every and all the save games are removed and everything, so it's back to the whole base game. Uh, so you can download that too, but always back up your files because, say, you don't want you know your overhauled you know Tyrannosaurus. You can easily just go back into your you know backup data, take those files back in there. And replace them back in there, and then you have your original T Rex again. So just always, please, 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 please remember to back up your data. It's it's one of the most uh, common things you you can do. But that is how you do that. And then for your UI, you're gonna go back to UI. This will change the icon of the Tyrannosaurus when you in there. But that's going to be in your um, PDL6 icons. I'm going to go down. So you see Cosmetic T Rex 01, 01A, 97, like that. So these will change the genes in the cosmetics for the overhaul of the 1993 uh, Tyrannosaurus. Which means you just go down. In the directory file, in the Steam apps, you find Cosmetic T Rex. Well, that's going to be up here. Right there. So you have 01A, 97A. So it's just these. You're going to change your 01, your 01A, and your 97, and your 97A, which would be your, your, your buck. And Doe from the Lost World, and your overhaul of the original Rexy from Jurassic Park, uh, which would be um, you have the main skin variant, and then there's kind of a different variant that uh, is applied to her. I'm not sure what it really. It looks a little different than what she what she normally looks like, but it's still her original um, skin that you can give her if you want. Um, so that is how you do dinosaurs. Uh, I hope that was useful. Now, let's say we want to do sounds. So we have film cannon tyrannosaurus sounds. So you're going to click on the zip file. Well, the backup files, I don't know what these are here for. So read me text. To install, to install the mod, please locate your address. Steam apps. Yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna do? So you go back to your Win64. Again. Click on it. Over oval data. Content zero. Go to audio. You're going to scroll down to your Tyrannosaurus, to your T-Rex. Come on, what the hell? Seriously? <laughs> Why is this new? Okay, there we go. So it's going to give you these three right here. 
you're going to take these ones from the zip file and replace them like such. Now I've already have replaced these. I downloaded these back in September as you can see. So they are already in the game but that is how you download uh, audio files for all your dinosaurs. Um, now I hope that was a pretty simple way of showing. I hope I showed you the best way to do it as possible. Um, like I said, this um, Be sure to back up your files. Like I said, I'm going to say it once again, and I'll say it again. Back up your files. Unlike me, back up your files because you will not get those original game files back if you do not back up the files into a new folder. They are going to be gone forever. Now, you can. Now, Nexus Mods has everything. That you can find, you have every dino, you have all dinosaurs you can find. You can find sound mods and terrain mods. Um, you just got to do the readme files, but make sure. I think your problem was, uh, I forgot what your name was, but when I commented to you on YouTube, I think your problem was you probably did download it from Torrent and not from Steam. I think that might be your problem. I'm not sure. Maybe someone ha else has downloaded the game from from a torrent um, but I've never downloaded anything from torrent so I wouldn't know if, if it would work or not so that could be your problem um, so I hope if you can afford it on Steam uh, right now it's going on Steam for like uh, I don't know how, how much the game is going for I think it's like 30 something right now I'm not sure there might be specials since Christmas is coming up um, I'm not sure you, just check it out on Steam if you do have Steam like that. Um, I hope this was a useful tutorial to show how to install the mods onto Jurassic World Evolution. I hope this was very convenient. If you have any other questions, just like and comment and subscribe on YouTube. And the subscriber amounts I have been getting from each of my videos has been unbelievable. And I'm really glad that uh, everyone has been subscribing. I went from from 15 subscribers all the way up to almost 28 subscribers. I'm tr my goal is to get at least 30. You know, I I want to I want to get up there. I'm gonna make another goal after that to get to 40. And I really hope that uh, my subscriber my subscriber count can raise up more because I'm still a baby channel yet, and I really would like the support of all Jurassic World fans. Maybe that's what the content you guys want to see, and I will I will throw that out somehow. Um, until then, I hope this was a very useful, resourceful tool. Until then, I will see you next time. Take care.